What is going on everyone? Griffin here coming at you with some trench gameplay and today we're going to talk about King of the Hill ranked thoughts. So let's head over and check that out. So this video is going to be a little bit differently like I talked about in the Dahlia video unless it hasn't came out yet. OBS had a problem recording all of the audio whenever I was actually recording the videos with the new update. So I'm just going to layer this over the top of it and then when it gets to the end if there's still some video left it's just going to be me running around with just the gameplay audio. But anyway, let's talk about King of the Hill for a second here. So King of the Hill has been added to ranked. And the response from the community is just completely split, in my opinion. You have a lot of people that are coming out of the woodwork saying that this is one of the greatest additions that they made into the game. And even content creators have come out supporting the same sentiment. Then you also have competitive players like Nash, and I'm going to throw that up on screen right now, I'm saying that King of the Hill really doesn't belong inside of uh, competitive game mode because it's not competitive. This is something that I've been saying for a very long time now. I'm not even a competitive player. The community feels really split on this decision, and I know that uh, First Watch Games is actively monitoring the feedback for King of the Hill specifically. But let's run through the changes and let's talk about the changes a little bit here. So they changed it to a single round mode that lasts for 10 minutes. You have to get a score of 250 to win, or whoever has the highest score when the time runs out, or whenever you clear the sudden death mechanic or whatever. Like it, That one's kind of up in the air. I need to do some more testing on that. The hill rotates every 60 seconds. Two additional hill locations have been added to each map, and downed cash has changed from 500 to 1,000. So with it being a single round instead of round-based, to me, that really doesn't matter all that much. I felt like with King of the Hill and Respawn mode specifically, and this is something that I talked about on stream, it feels like you can't really gain your momentum back. Now, in, in Demolition, whenever you start running Demolition, you may have a lull at the beginning or even the midway through the match, but once you start gaining that momentum, you can kind of prolong that. With King of the Hill, it's so sporadic that you may be gaining that momentum that you need to actually secure the victory. And then something completely out of the blue random can happen in the match, and it kind of throws everything on its head. And it it doesn't stall your momentum, it just shuts it down and you have to completely rebuild it from the ground up at that point. And it doesn't feel that great whenever you're playing in the match because it feels like you are doing everything that you can to try to make this match a victory, but you're failing at every single corner and, and it just feels so frustrating for a lot of players. And I feel that I feel that so much. And that's why I originally said that I don't think that respawn modes, especially the respawn modes that we currently have in the game, is going to be a good match for a ranked competitive environment. I just don't feel like it's going to be that way. And I think that we're kind of seeing that now. Um, with the changes that they made to King of the Hill, um, other than the single round, the round length being 10 minutes feels okay. It feels like you're going to have like a 20 to 30 minute demolition game. And then the next ranked mode may be a King of the Hill match. And that King of the Hill match be, may be 10 minutes. You're, you're able to jump in, kind of cleanse your palate a little bit, run around, frag out, win or lose, whatever happens. Then you can jump right back into demolition. Uh, the score is fine. The one thing that I have a problem with is the rotations of the hill the rotation of the hill is every 60 seconds now i understand that it's a 10 minute game mode they want to ro rotate around 10 times whenever you're playing that full game you know that full match unless of course you reach 250 before that but to me it feels like that it needs to be prolonged a little bit longer to me it feels like 60 seconds is just not quite long enough I think if you bumped it up to 90 seconds, I think that that would feel like the correct amount of time. Because once you fight over the hill, if, if you're rotating to a hill, whether you have the hill or not, you're going to fight over the hill for at least 30 to 45 seconds of that. Once you actually gain control of the hill, if you do, it's time to start planning your rotations and act actively start rotating to the next hill location. It feels like you don't have a moment to actually sit on the hill breathe for a second whenever you're waiting for the enemy team to respawn then have that next engagement while they're letting you know where the next hill location is they're doing the countdown timer for that hill that you're currently fighting on to go away it just feels like you don't have that and to me if they would increase it by 30 seconds i think that that would make a gigantic difference in how people play the mode and it would actually uh, make it a little bit more competitive in my opinion because instead of like hey we're gonna lock this hill down we're gonna fight over it once we 
we have control over it. We're going to send one or two people that are going to try to try to move those battle fronts, you know, back away from this this specific hill. But we're also going to try to get one or two people to start rotating to the next hill so that we can start setting up on that. And it feels like you're splitting the team up way too much whenever you're playing it that way. It feels like, you know, King of the Hill is a four versus four balls to the wall. Just throw everything in the kitchen sink at the enemy team and see what happens. With it being a 60 second rotation, it doesn't feel like that. It feels like you're getting these minor skirmishes here and there, which do feel good, but it just doesn't feel as rewarding if you're able to swoop in and get a four down and completely wipe that enemy team and do a fresh reset at that moment. It just doesn't feel, you know, you you don't get that moment. Not not for me anyway. Maybe I'm playing it wrong, but maybe, you know, and and if I am playing it wrong, I'll be the first to admit like, hey, you know, King of the Hill is not something that's new whatsoever, but it is a little bit different from game to game. And depending on the mechanics of said game, it's going to change up how you play King of the Hill quite a bit. Whenever you look at Gears of War versus Rogue Company, it plays it plays a lot of the same, but it also plays very, very differently in a big, big way. Um, the down cash being changed from 500 to a thousand that feels good I'm glad that they've kind of upped that and to me I wish that especially in ranked they would get rid of the money piles like they need to just completely get rid of that in ranked altogether and they need to just have you make the down you make the money if you thirst the kill you get the assist money or you get the elimination money or whatever it is they need to get the the money piles out of the way i think that it's doing more harm in the game than good in my opinion because the game's trying to render more stuff and whenever you've got like 15 dead bodies on a point and all of them have cash piles everywhere then it's very taxing on your system and it's very taxing on your servers so let's get the cash mechanic out of it just a little bit let's just give them the straight money like demolition and just be done with it um, two additional hill locations have been added to each map i like that more hill locations the better but at the end of the day, it just feels like it feels like it doesn't belong in a competitive environment. And that is just my thoughts on it. It feels like it was a good try. And if they wanted to make a separate ranked queue for King of the Hill, then by all means do that. And I think that you'll have a lot of people that would be very interested in that. But they haven't released anything competitive. Demolition came out and Demolition is very competitive. And that is their premier ranked mode or it's supposed to be. And then everything else that they've released doesn't even come close to feeling as competitive as that mode does. Extraction gets close. Battle Zone doesn't even touch it with a 10 foot pole. That's just the reality of it, in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Are you enjoying King of the Hill and ranked? If not, let me know what changes you would like to see, of course, other than just remove it altogether. I'm very interested to see what you guys have to think about it. Be sure to check that description for links to Facebook, Discord, and Twitter. Those are the places to contact me. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Also, on Thursdays from 8 until 11 p.m. Central Time, we will be streaming Rogue Company. And then starting Sunday from 10 a.m. until whenever we decide to stop, we are going to be streaming. My wife and I are going to be doing Bioshock 2. So please, if you have a couple of minutes, be sure to stop by and say hello. Maybe jump into a couple of custom matches and have a good time with us. Thanks for watching, guys. Give me up. What are you doing? On your feet and back in the fight. I didn't say you can die. Behind us. Give me up. Give me up. Shield up. Lethal out. Enemy spotted. This ought to slow him down. Let's lock this down. And... Not yet. Deploying lethal.
victory. <laughs> Good choice. You're not out of this yet, enemy spot. 45 seconds Shield up! And... Revive me, now. 30 seconds left. This ought to slow him down. Deploying lethal! Okay. It's over. Everyone head back to base. <laughs> <laughs> 